Welcome back to another video. My name's Raxor, and you're tuning in to another boss week of another phase. Um, oh my god, wait a minute. It's not phase. It's Balloonarius. Oh my god. Thank you so much, NK. Honestly, one of my favorite maps as well. I did a bunch, uh, or not a bunch, I did a behind the wall challenge previously and it's very possible to go late game on this map so today we are going to be doing water only for blue, uh, blue areas normal it should be pretty easy since we have two puddles uh, only slightly problematic part is when blue areas gets behind the first half of the track it gets behind the wall because then some of your damage can't attack but it should be pretty fine it should be pretty easily regardless so also, um, quick note, as as you know, um, I'm just boat farming, so honestly, there's nothing too crazy here. Uh, you might notice my mic sounds a lot more clear. Uh, holy crap, someone told me in the comments on how to fix it, and I think it made a huge difference. Honestly, again, uh, if you find something that you think, oh, you know what, Raxor, you could uh, work on this a little bit. I am all ears. I'm all open. I'm open book because I really want to try and improve the quality of my videos so again unless you're just being super hateful obviously like I, I am open to a lot of feedback and criticism so just let me know because the better videos I can do for you guys the more enjoyable content I can put out so just let me know um and yeah hopefully the videos have been have been getting better I've been trying my best uh video editing actually is not as bad as I thought it's uh I still need a lot more time, but yeah, anyways, uh, let's get back onto the video. Uh, so yeah, so boat farming, uh, pretty straightforward. Um, for tier one Blunarius, uh, it's not too hard actually. All you really need for tier one is an aircraft carrier, but the problem with this map again is the line of sight, right? So I try to get a reactor actually to kind of handle the back end of it, but I end up dying as you see there it's kind of kind of embarrassing but that's fine so instead what i do is i keep my little merchantmen going for a bit until i'm able to afford aircraft carrier and then i get a reactor as well try to buy a flavor trade skin because again aircraft carrier just really melts this that's not a problem and then reactor actually saved saved my butt quite a bit there so what i do is i sell it the first time i get trade empire and then I realized I don't have enough for uh, round 50, I think, or 49. It's, I don't have enough for round 49, so I actually mess up and I start over again. So as you see here, I honestly play this extremely terribly. I could probably be super optimal. And I know there's a lot of you in the comments that are way better than me. Honestly, if you can beat it as well, that's that's awesome. I uh, like there's a lot of times where I say like, oh, sometimes some things are impossible. If you can prove me wrong. That's great. And you know what? You keep at it. Good job. Good for you. Um, but I'm just chilling here, enjoying my time. Also, uh, if I sound really all over the place right now, it's because I might be partially all over the place. I just got back from a wedding right now. So uh, I'm just uh, m might be half uh, drunk. Uh, I wouldn't say drunk, like half tipsy, maybe. Uh, I'm probably not have tipsy, maybe all over the place. Anyways, you're just listening to a random guy on the internet uh, spew nonsense as you watch him play BTD6 right after a wedding. <laughs> That's kind of crazy. Anyways, wow, you know what? We live in a world where this kind of happens now. So, uh, anyways, so let's get back again. Okay, so as you see here, I, I think the biggest problem was me just trying to figure out what the setup would be. Because I realized mer normally merchantmen are very strong. But the problem with this is the merchantmen didn't have enough time to do enough damage really. So that's why I actually kept my reactor. If you notice here. Mm, eventually it becomes okay. And then I think. Oh actually yeah I messed that up too. So what I actually end up doing. If I ever get to it. Uh, I, I keep my reactor for a while. And then I realized that mobs are a problem, right? So I don't have enough damage. So what I actually end up doing is just get a aircraft carrier. And then eventually I'd get a carrier flagship, but aircraft carrier will essentially deal with 
everything else, right? So just get an aircraft carrier, take it easy, get more merchantmen. And then this is where I get my favorite trades army finally. Uh, finally up and running. And then for tier two, uh, tier two is also extremely straightforward, right? So tier two, actually, it's also ceramics and ceramics are really easy to take care of if you have Spirit of the Forest, uh, which also makes you really good money, right? So it's really easy because carrier flagship does all the boss damage and then Spirit of the Forest just literally cleans up like you don't see a single ceramic, right? I mean, I, I guess it's sped up, so you don't have time to see it as well, but when they spawn out, they just disappear instantly. Right, so Spirit of the Forest, really nice ceramic cleanup, really nice, makes you money. Um, if you ask me what this placement is, I have no idea. This that placement was disgusting. So what I do is I rebuy your flagship, waste of money, but whatever. I get a boat in, uh, sorry, a BRF in, and then okay, so the first time I do a monkey obelisk, and then I realize I can't afford another BRF because I messed up completely. So what I do is I do it again. Except this time, I just do a, a simple farm, Monkeyopolis, and then I get a BRF. And then an overclock, and eventually overclock will just boost that, and then I kind of just get more merchantmen back on the bottom, just to kind of take care of general stuff. And yeah, so this is, again, pretty straightforward for a while. You just keep farming. Um, there's a few of you that have also asked for a farming video. Uh, I will get to that eventually. Again, I'm really sorry. There's just so many things in terms of videos that I'm kind of doing right now. So it's actually a mix of juggling all these videos back and forth. And uh, I will get to it eventually. Uh, I honestly don't think I'm super adequately equipped might be the right word. Yeah, I don't think I'm adequately equipped to talk about um, ideal farming but i'll do it the best that i can anyway so uh but one one point in farming is you always want to try and get tier fives as much as possible obviously so um what you saw there also is i bought i rebought the monkeyopolis so that has radar scanner so that my carrier flagship could do damage that's why i rebought the monkeyopolis and here you see i just buy a mad because again mad will easily take care of the blue Nereus, uh, as well as the Moabs, and then again, Spirit of the Forest just cleans up all ceramics, so you don't have to even worry about ceramics even that are really close to it, so this setup is good, and even even though uh, it turns the corner at the end, it's still enough to kill it in time, so so in, in this case, in terms of farming, I just sell all my favorite trades for Banana Central, again, it's more effective to get a tier 5 that will give you uh, 1800 I believe with Monkeyopolis each round so it's more effective to get that than your trade empire so if it's possible to buy a tier 5 with some of your defense right or sorry not some of your defense with some of your farming towers then sometimes it's worth it to just sell it um, and then just get the tier 5 because tier 5 will ultimately give you more cash in the long run and then you can just buy up those tier 4s again and they will help you right so that's my short farming tip of the day as we plug into round 94 um yeah so i buy part lord with bottom cross path so it can attack ddt's pretty straight forward um i think i so yeah so what i do here i also rebuy spirit of the forest and the reason why is because hard thorns uh, i initially did the range so that it could uh, get more cash from the banana farm but then i changed it back to hard thorns so that it would just deal with ddt super easily i didn't really want to change up my defense too much just make it straightforward and literally kind of like a plug and play kind of thing right so yeah as you see here again very easy very straightforward so here i literally get a favorite uh, i get a favorite trades in the ng spot but ng is worth a lot more so i just sell everything get a degree 20 navark and honestly i could have just afk the rest of this but for some reason i decided i'm like oh, i'm just gonna farm again and then maybe try and afford another paragon if i was gonna be super gung-ho and try hard it's very possible to get another paragon here so obviously i i decided okay you know what i'll just take it easy because uh degree 20 navark will definitely shred uh, tier 5 as well. Uh, tier 5 Blue Nereus, that is. So, yeah, honestly, uh, the rest of this is just 
me kind of chilling now, trying to get my... So I decided to try and go for an Apex Plasma Master. But then by the time I even bought a Ford all the tier 5s, uh, it's it's already a little too late, you know? Like, Lunarius is is already it's already coming to the exit and it's, it's looking... It's, it's like me. It's like, looks half drunk just trying to get out of here. Like, you know? And two puddles is is more than enough space so again uh, as we kind of trail off i will uh, i just want to discuss again i will be doing uh, elite i could do it on water but again i think water is a little bit too repetitive it's been on my channel quite a bit so next time around we will be doing uh lunarius elite behind the wall actually so uh that should be more interesting so again if you find this content a bit interesting and you aren't sub please consider subscribing i'm so close to hitting 1k would love to hit 1k and again keep making videos for you all and yeah so again here i tried to find apex plasma but i clearly failed entirely but yeah so there we go a nice and quick time of 24 minutes and 20 seconds but anyways if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I will see you all in the next video.